Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Nick from Rise Up Sports and I'm back with another video today. It's probably gonna be a pretty short video, but it is a necessary one to do. Today is Monday after the NFL season. Week one is over. I guess we still have the Monday night game tonight, but this is the perfect time for me to do this video. And as you can see by the title, this, this, this is my, or these are my bold takes for the 2022-2023 NFL season. I have a feeling some of these will be true and some of these won't be true. And I only have like three of them I'm going to do in this video. If you want to see more of my bold takes, let me know in the comments below. But let's get right into it. So my first bold take of this season is I believe the Minnesota Vikings will either beat or be very close to beating the Green Bay Packers and the NFC North. Now, I really love what the Vikings have this season. I think... I think the Vikings have maybe even a better team than Green Bay this year. I mean, Green Bay has been so good for so long. Aaron Rodgers, one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, but this year, just he doesn't, Aaron doesn't have receivers to throw to really. He didn't really last year, but he had Devontae. Now he doesn't even have him. So it's like, who is he going to throw to? I feel like their defense got a little worse. And I just feel like the Vikings have a better overall team. Like, when you look at the receivers and the running backs, Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison, which Madison could get traded. He apparently is on the trade block. And maybe by the time this video comes out, maybe he already is traded. Who knows? But they have Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. They really like a couple of their young guys. And they are such a talented team. Kirk Cousins, I know, is not like great or anything. But I think with Jefferson like just becoming even better, and with Adam Thielen being great. Um, and then this defense is still really good. I mean, yes, it's lost some pieces, but this defense is still really good. And I just think with the Lions that still aren't, you know, there yet, and the Bears are just awful, I think it's going to come down to whoever can win the season series against each other. Like, if the Packers, if they split, then it's going to be really close. But... I think maybe the Vikings could even win both of those games against the Packers. I guess crazy as that sounds. For me, that's my first bold take. I, I just think the Vikings have a better team, and I think they'll beat the Packers possibly in this division this year. My second bold take is I believe that the Bengals will not win the AFC North. I think, I think the Ravens have it this year. I just think being completely healthy, I know this might go against my rankings, um, but these are bold takes that, you know, I think could happen. And I don't know that I wouldn't pick it. Like, obviously, when I picked my rankings, I picked the Bengals to win the division. But these are just bold takes that, you know, I, I think could happen. And I'm not saying they will, but I think they're just kind of like, they're very bold for me to say. And I don't, I think one of them could be that the Bengals might not win this division. And I think the Ravens have a really good chance to do it. And I think, you know, it, it kind of depends where the Bengals go. I think Joe Burrow is going to continue to get better and Joe Mixon is really good. Jamar Chase obviously is really good. All the signs point to the Bengals getting better, but I think because they had such a good season last year, I think it's going to be really hard to repeat that. And honestly, they didn't have like, they had a good record in the regular season, but they weren't like, they didn't win 13, 14 games. Like I think they won 10 or 11 this year, this past year. So, you know, I think the Bengals could potentially not win this division this year. So that's my number two take. And my final take for this video, I think it is possible. Now, these are bold takes. I wouldn't necessarily pick this to actually happen, but these are like bold takes that could happen. I know I've said that a lot, but I want to make that clear. My third bold take is that the Eagles will make it to the NFC Championship game. Now, that is a big take right there. There's a lot of good teams. And I mean, the NFC, NFC in general like lost a lot of talent. I mean, Russell Wilson went from uh, the Seahawks to the Broncos and that's a switch. And I know a lot of y'all will say, well, the 49ers have a better chance and like other teams in that division have a better chance than the Eagles do. And yeah, you're probably right. They probably do. I mean, the Rams are still there. Obviously the Rams aren't going anywhere. The Packers still have a great chance. The Vikings, like I just said earlier in this video, I think the Eagles can make a run for this division or not division. I think the Eagles can make a run 
to go all the way to the NFC Championship game. Part of the reason I believe that is because of how weak this division is that they're in. Now, I don't have as much faith in the Cowboys as a lot of people do. I think Cowboys are just not going to be as good as people think they are. I really don't. I just don't think Mike McCarthy is the answer. I think Ezekiel Elliott lost a pretty big step. Tony Pollard's great, sure. But can he really be that number one running back on the team? They're probably going to split carries. Lost Amari Cooper. You have CeeDee Lamb, who is young. And speaking of uh, football, we got ESPN articles going off. So I think having CeeDee Lamb as your number one receiver is a little bit scary just because he's really young and very, very talented, obviously. But can he handle that number one responsibility? I'm not sure. So when you look at the Cowboys and their and their offensive line, it's not going to be very good. Their defense is going to be okay with Leighton Van Der Esch and Demarcus Lawrence and you know Trayvon Diggs. As much as I think he's not as good as people say, he's still really good. And then you look at a team like the Commanders, who you know who knows what they're going to be like. I mean, Terry McLaurin's great, but outside of that, you know, are you really thrilled with Carson Wentz like trying to? Um, be that guy like I just don't know that he is and you know I just I don't know I just feel like the Eagles are Eagles next to the Cowboys are the most talented team in this division I didn't even mention the Giants because they're not going to do anything like they're terrible so I, I just feel like the Eagles could possibly go 5-1 and one or 6-0 and oh in this division and that's huge Um, and I don't think there's anybody in the NFC really in their way like I mentioned the 49ers division. You have the Rams, obviously. They're going to be there. Um, and I think I would pick probably the Rams and the Eagles to meet in the NFC Championship game. Because if if I were to pick the Eagles to get there, the only teams I'd be worried about getting in their way would be either the Packers, Vikings, um, 49ers maybe. Um, Arizona, I don't see it. you know, And nobody in the NFC East. And the NFC South... The Bucks obviously would be a huge threat, but you saw last year the Eagles and the Bucks played, and the Bucks did beat them. But for a while, the Eagles didn't, you know, look terrible for parts of that game. So I don't know. I just, I just think that's a pretty big take that not a lot of people would say. But I think the Eagles could potentially get all the way there. I'm a big fan of Jalen Hurts this year. I'm a big fan of AJ Brown, their new signing. And I mean, I'm not a huge fan of you know the rest of their receivers, but I think their running backs, they work. They're not amazing, but they work enough to, you know, not be terrible. And then you have a decent offensive line, I believe. And then your defense is not terrible either. So I just I just think the Eagles have a good chance, and that's why I put them there. So if you have any comments, suggestions of what I should do next, please let me know in the comments. These are my three bold NFL takes for this next season coming up. Week one is almost done. We have a game tonight. But after that, I will make my week two predictions. Um, that'll be one of my next videos. So stay tuned for that. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next Rise of Sports.